Hey guys, I'm P-Freak, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Last time, we went on the train in Wedgehurst to get here to the wild area on our way over to Modestoke City. And we also did a bit of camping and wandering around trying to fight some Dynamax Pokemon. It went horribly. In this part, it's raining. Okay then. In this part, we are gonna go and just make it through the wild area. I said off screen I would do all some of these Dynamax stuff. I probably won't do all of them because they're rather difficult to do. Especially in the early game when you have no one else to do them with you. So I think I might just save most of them for later. Ooh, sparkly, shiny. I do wish I had a bicycle though. That'd make things go a lot faster. I can at least. Oh, nope, that was the one we did before. I can at least stop by some of them and get the watts that they give. What do you have to say? Hey there, I found a bit of a rare item here in the wild area. You want it? Only 100 watts. Sure, what do you have? Okay. I'll take another XP shirt candy. Okay, and he's gone. Later, weirdo. Help the toad. Again, I don't want to fight any of these Pokemon out in, like, the open, because they're going to be impossible for us to kill. It's a little Choodle. Excuse me. There are different Pokemon that appear, depending on the weather, if I haven't mentioned that already. Sorry. Got a bit of a hiccup, apparently. So, with it snowing here, yeah, a little purloin. You'll see mostly, like, ice-type Pokemon. And then there's that asshole. What do you have to say? I fished up something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. One of my brilliant find for a brilliant bargain of 100 watts, I guess. Well, that was a brilliant choice you just made. Here you are, as promised. Ooh! That's actually not bad. Very large pearls that sparkle in a pretty silver color. They can be sold for a high price at shops. Think I'll fish myself up another brilliant find. I don't know if those guys appear like daily. I never really paid much attention when I was going through the wild area. That's really nice. The pearl string will get us a bunch of money when we get to the Pokemon Center. Which will probably make up for me buying the shirt. The wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself by glow from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Again, watts is the kind of currency that we have here in the wild area. You see me trading it for items. What would you like to do? Let's see what you have available. Hmm, nothing I can really buy. This is another way to get uh, technical records besides just fighting the Dynamax Pokemon. I do want one of these eventually. Uh, it's just so many watts, it's a big issue. And you don't really get a good amount of watts until like after you finish the main story. Then the amount of watts you get I think I think triples. Which is annoying for sure definitely when you're going through the normal adventure but anyways well, we made it up here to most Oak, so let's head on inside. <laughs> Welcome to Modestoke. Basically going to be one of our central hubs for a little bit. Interesting, quaint little place. Okay, we get it. It's a big, very big place. I'm sorry I called it interesting and quaint. And that looks like the building we need to be going to, and who the hell is that in front? Alright. Hey, over here! Well, hello, Sonia. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. It didn't take. It wasn't that hard. Seems like your trick ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop in the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in here I bet you'll get a kick out of. If you're a real trainer and all. What do you have for me? Hello. Oh, it looks like the Rotami's free. Rotami, whatever. Doesn't matter. Rotami are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your League card. Why don't you try playing around with your League card for a bit, Jordan? Here's a sample for you. 
Ah yes, the leak cards. Show off your achievements by making a leak card. You can customize your card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with your latest information. Trainers all have their own leak cards, and you can swap cards with other trainers that you connect with using communication features. You can view all your leak cards you've collected by collect by checking your album, which you can find the leak card option of the X menu. But most hooks sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal your Pokemon. So basically, instead of trainer cards, we get leak cards. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think about how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. You know, I want to see a prequel to these games of just Leon and Sonya's adventure. That'd be pretty cool. I know it's never going to happen, but it'd be pretty cool. You take the role of Leon, and you become that powerful champion that they keep constantly talking about. I forgot we had a Hoot Hoot. Let's go put that Hoot Hoot in our PC. We're not going to need it at all. Alright. In you go. Alright. No items picked up. Let's go sell that pearl string. So we have a nice little... I get annoyed when it constantly has these new items here. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. We'll use these eventually. But it's nice that they have a little treasures tab here. These are basically just items that you can just sell for money. Something they added in this game, it's really, really appreciative. See, 10,000 Poké Dollars. That really helped us out a lot. What do you have to say? Think? Yeah, so he sells different types of Pokéballs and X items. X items basically raise a Pokémon stat by one stage. They're, I don't use these very much. I don't have much care for them, except for one X item specifically, and that's X accuracies, because increasing the accuracy of a move is actually really nice. You have something to say? You're kind of just standing here in the corner. Say, if you got a Benelby, would you like to trade it for my Squovit? Why, though? Why would I do that? Squovits easier, are easier to find than Benelbys. So, brilliant young trainers who brave the wild area, do you remember what your goal in Mostoke is? Uh, What? You seriously forgot the gym challenge opening ceremony? Yeah! No, I totally didn't just select that just to see your reaction. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Mostoke Stadium, okay? E okay. You're seriously trusting a 10-year-old to walk around this huge city unscathed? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Alright then. Well, later, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Alright. See ya. So, there's something I actually want to do real quick before we continue on. So, I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I was going back for real quick. Went back into the wild area because I was looking for... Yes, that's nice. I was looking for a Ralts. This is going to be another member of our team. Or at least I'm going to attempt to make it another member of our team. The issue is Ralts has a 2% chance of actually being found in the Rolling Fields area in Overcast. Now granted, I did change my clock so it'd be on a specific day with overcast weather. Just so I could actually grab this thing. Now hopefully it has a good nature as well. Alright, come on you little son of a gun. I know it's kind of fast, us getting two party members within the span of... Actually, three party members within the span of five videos. But, eh. It's always nice to get... Pokemon just about as soon as you can get them. It's not always going to be like this. There is one other Pokemon that I want on my team that I could capture right now if I wanted to, but I'm waiting until a little later in order to capture it. Actually, there are two more Pokemon I could have captured right now if I wanted to. So we're not going to have them all clumped up in a single area. Come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe I should have grabbed some extra Pokeballs. That's gonna put us to sleep. Alright, 
It's fine, Ziggy Zig. It's not like you're really doing it. Oh, I have a great ball. Maybe the great ball will work. Please. One. God damn. Okay. Wow. This is gonna take forever. Come on. One. Two. Three. Yeah. Now watch it have a really crappy nature. I'm gonna be so pissed if it has a bad nature. Uh, no. You're not the Ziggy Ziggs that needs to learn Snarl. If its horns capture the warmth feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. Uh, that's sweet. Alright, what do we want to name the Ralts? It's a female Ralts. So, it can't evolve into one of its evolutions, but we're not gonna evolve into that evolution anyway, so doesn't really matter to me. Hmm. I do have a Guard of War character in one of my stories, so I'm going to name you after after her. Ray the Guard of War. Er, Guard of War. Guard of War is its evolution, by the way. I just spoiled that. Whatever. Ray the Ralts, that's what I meant. All right, let's see. Your nature is... Uh, damn it. I'll be right back. There we go. There's another one. The issue with finding Ralts in this area is that with the Tyrogues and the Metapods and the Benelbees, it's kind of hard to tell, like, to di differentiate the Ralts amongst everything else. Uh, that shouldn't do much. Yeah, fire types resist very. Uh, I want to go for another move, but I'm afraid of KOing it. Come on, please. Yeah, yeah. One Pokeball, nice. Now, in case if it wasn't obvious, yes, my team is going to be based around the best team for Pokemon Shield by Mystic Umbreon. Because I have yet to actually do this team before, and it does have some members that I've never used before, so I'm interested. Maybe it'd be more interesting if I... Is that another one? That's weird. Okay, no, it's Tyrant. Maybe it'd be more interesting if I came with my own team, but last time I did that, it did not go so well. Alright. Let's see, what do you have? I'll take it. Ooh, and Synchronize. Synchronize, actually, I think is a lot better than Trace. So I'll definitely take that. Welcome to the party, Ray. And we got some more items. We got a Repel. Nice. They're not... Repels are supelled to keep wild Pokemon from you encountering wild Pokemon. But it's kind of got a bit of a downgrade this game. Where now it specifically only repels wild Pokemon from... Fr that are like hidden in the grass. Like those. And not like all wild Pokemon do not spawn. So it's... Kind of... I don't use repels anymore. I thought I'd use them a lot, but nah. Because you can just easily avoid the other Pokemon. Now! You may remember that in the Pokemon Center, that girl wanted a Benelby. So, I guess while we're here, I might as well grab one, just to have an in-game trade. Maybe see if that Squovit is something special. Probably not to Squovit. Alright. I forget who, but there's someone, there's a, um, there's someone who I think is from somewhere around, like, Western Europe or whatever. She actually has a rabbit, a pet rabbit, named Sir Diggersby. I wish I could remember what her name is. Ooh, double kick. Yeah, we'll get rid of Tackle for that. Alright. Double kick basically attacks the target twice with a kick, hence the term double kick. But yeah, there's uh, someone who actually has a rabbit named Sir Diggersby. Diggersby is the evolution of Benelby. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back in Mostoke. Alright lady, what does this squovet of yours have that this you want this Benelby so badly for? Ugh. <sighs> 
I don't do a lot of in-game trades. They aren't usually the best, to be honest. But if you're not connected to the Wi-Fi and don't have friends to trade with, then you really don't have much of an other choice. Cheekers. I would have personally named it Sandy Cheeks, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'll take great care of your Benelby, so take care of my Squove too. And by take care, I mean I'm going to probably put it in the PC for the rest of its life. Oh, it has an Orenberry. I'll take that. Is there anything remarkable about this thing? It doesn't even... Okay, no. Nope. Into the PC for you. All right. Uh, nah. We don't need to buy anything. And everyone's already healed up. So, without further ado, after long waiting, let's actually explore Mo's Stoke real quickly. Starting with over here. We use the Pokemon Move Growth to raise our flowers, and they get rather large. Interesting. I'm kind of curious how that works. In here. We have. Welcome. Lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? We have the hairstylist. Here you can actually change your hair and your con and your makeup, including contact lenses. Um, I'm usually fine with the default hair for the this avatar, but let's actually do some makeup. What's really nice is just how customizable you are actually able to do with this stuff. Choose what kind of eyebrows we want. Thick, thin, thin ones look weird or normal. Let's go some thick ones. Then we can choose what color we want. They don't have to match our hair color, which is pretty cool. We even have more exotic colors down here. I think we'll go back to our dark brown. No. And now our eye colors. These, you have your normal colors here. You have your not so normal colors. So hazel, gray, green. We have blue. Green is really cool. Black, yellow, pink, purple, ultramarine and brown, yellow green, lavender ice, poppy red, white, and then we have some of the more trippy ones like a multicolor squirrel, total darkness, burning passion, lovely hearts, and star studded. Again, these are contact lenses, but yeah, basically you're changing your eyes. You know what? Let's actually go with this. Why not? All right. Yep. That's what we want to go with. So we don't have like actual makeup, it's just contact lenses and eyebrows. And then we also have hair stuff. Yeah, we'll reprint our league card. Alright, well now we have stars in our eyes. How poetic. And here's another boutique. Let's do some more character customization, shall we? We're just on a roll here. Let's see, I don't want to get rid of my shirt just yet, I just got it. Ooh, I like that tracksuit though. Too bad it doesn't seem like there anymore. I do want to get jacket eventually, but eh. Oh. Ooh, this isn't bad. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Alright. Eh. Ooh, nice. And designer denim. Perfect. Oh, it's expensive as hell, though. Uh, we'll just keep the designer denim we actually have right now. Socks, I don't care for. What the hell are Chukka boots? Okay. Hmm. Plaid ones are expensive though, but that's pretty cool. This would match our jacket more, so yeah, I'll take that. Uh, nah. Oh, our pupils actually show through. I see. I didn't know our pupils actually showed through the star stud thing. Glasses. I actually really like these glasses. Uh, nah, I wore them before. Let's go with something different. Let's go with these half rain ones. Hmm. Oh, never mind. We can't afford them. Okay. And then gloves. We're fine with the gloves we have. Alright, I think this looks good for now. Definitely need to get a new hat eventually, because I am not digging this type of hat. Alright, what do we have over here? 
Hey, your Pokemon trainer. Here, let me give you something nice. Tracing on your Pokemon. We get the T TR Focus Energy. Yay! The user takes a deep breath and focuses so that critical hits land more easily. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use, too, which is also extra old school. Yeah, and also extra lame. Ah, here we go. This right here is the Battle Cafe. There are only three of these in the entire region. And in here, you can battle the Battle Cafe... I forget what you're called, but it's always in a double battle. So, for this, I'm actually going to switch out to Spirit. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. If you win, we'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Sure, we can try. Give it a shot. You're challenged by the Cafe Master, Dwight. So, like I said, these are always in... Oh, I thought they were always in double battles. Well, the later ones are always appearing in double battles, so... Hmm. This could be rough. I could use double team and be really cheap. Let's just use a disarming voice for now. Okay. Regret. Regret. Oh, it actually is not super effective? I thought for sure because... Raise a psychic type it would be super effective. I guess fairy resist bug? Yeah. Uh should I I'll give it Okay, Gus shouldn't do any more than bug bites. Just trying to see if we can win this with Ray alone. Because if Ray can win this alone, then she's gonna get a lot of experience points. Okay, gonna go for another confusion. Just basically start spamming confusion. Okay, so it didn't matter if we get, did double team anyways, because they have sweet sense. That's just gonna lower evasion harshly. Okay. Yeah, no point in us using double team, really. But hey, yeah, if you want to fire off more sweet sense, knock yourself out. All right, one more confusion should do it. Struggle bug. Ugh. That's gonna lower my special attack, isn't it? Oh god, this might not actually kill then. Oh, no, we're good. All right, good job, Ray. Great first battle. Yeah, see, 128 experience points. And Ziggy Ziggs just leveled up. <laughs> I hope that battle was a delicate, sweet taste for you. Yep, just give me my money and give me your free item. That was a battle as refreshing as a glass of Moo Moo Milk. Here's a treat, as I promise. We get a sweetheart. So, a piece of cloyingly sweet chocolate. It can be used to restore 20 HP a single Pokemon. We look forward to your next visit. Not what I was thinking it was, but whatever. Just basically just another potion. Now, what I should actually do real quick is use these EXP candies since I have them. So, let's use all the smaller ones on... Actually, let's just use them all on Ray. Yeah, see, so you got to level 9. Hypnosis. Eh, sure. Let's get rid of uh, Growl for that. Hypnosis has a horrible accuracy, but it does send the Pokemon to sleep, so you never know. It could be useful. And I think we'll actually just give the small one to Ziggy Ziggs. Wow, that was a lot more than I was expecting, honestly. Headbutt! That's a good move to replace with Tackle. Does 70 damage instead of 40, and has a chance for making the target flinch. Nice. Alright, I guess we're gonna keep Ray out in the front of the party for a bit, just so she can get some level ups. Alright, now I'm gonna stop by the Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna finally head over to that stadium that Sonya was telling us about. There's probably a lot more for us to explore, but we really should just be getting on with the rest of the story. I might come back here in case there's something like actually important I need to grab. But oh, looks like we're getting stopped by someone. Oh, is it Charizard again? It's Charizard again. And Leon. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. It's straight ahead from the entrance. Are you kidding me? Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Leon, you are seriously pants with directions. Jordan, alright? 
One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of the endorsement I gave you. Ignore the little star contacts. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving your to your partner to hold. Ooh, charcoal. Nice. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It's combustible fuel that boosts the power of fire type moves. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're heading for the stadium next. That's what I was planning on doing before you stopped me. So, I am going to actually give that charcoal to Spirit real quick. So that he can gain some more experience. I'm not experienced well. So that his fire type moves can be stronger. I'm thinking of another item that I normally give to health Pokemon. Anyways, up we go. And what the hell are you? Ta-da! You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. God, you haunt me in my dreams, I swear. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. I was gonna say, did they did the furries really get to Pokeballs? But then, who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the ball guy. Yeah. Hi, Hop. Finally, someone actually normal. Most took Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only traveling because I'm so excited. Come on, Jordan. It's time the world learned our names. Alright then, let's move on forward. Big building, I bet you we're not going to be exploring most of it. I do like this music though. Oh boy, a character that's not generic, he won't be important to the plot at all. Would you take a look at this? This place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. And look, another, no another not generic character. They won't be important at all. Let's get signed up. I guess you're leading the way then. He's not, his lips aren't even moving. God, this guy just looks like an asshole. Agreed, Hop. Seriously? What a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Here you go. Oh no, that's not my pupils. Those are just small little eyes or stars. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you've had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I am trying to, if you'll just give me a moment. Jesus, Hop. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of the uniform. You must wear it for any official match. Now, most people, when they saw this, they instantly went for 420. Or, even better, a variation of this. But me, I have a little special number close to my heart. Number 387, otherwise known as Turtwig's National Dex Number. Number 387, is it? Very well then. And here, please wear this challenge band at all times so identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All trainers take part have been booked a room in the nearby Bud Dew drop in. We're only 10 and already we get free hotel rooms? Nice. That's the league chairman for you, even booked us all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Yeah, I'll follow right behind you, Hop, I guess. Hey, you! You look not so generic. What's up? You're looking a bit gobsmacked by all this. You must be from some small country town, is that? I'm quite the same myself. That was a really bad Scottish accent. I don't know. With gobsmacked, she just sounds like she would have a Scottish accent. You seem really gobsmacked, don't you? I'll stop. I'm sorry. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and try talking, not try talking to me again, would you? Potter. It's positively criminal of you wasting the time of someone as important as I am. What an asshole. It was bound to happen having the, ch see, we have Barry, we have Blue, and I promise you that non-generic character is going to be another one of our rivals. 
You must be Challenger Jordan. The budget drop in is down this way. If you would be so kind as follow me. We have the asshole rival, we have the overactive rival. What is she going to be? That is the question. Challenger Jordan, we have arrived at the Badu Drop Inn. It's kind of a cute name though. It's not very big for a hotel building. Try to get some rest and build up your strength and I didn't read the rest of that, whoops. <sighs> Darn everything being an A button nowadays. Ooh, sounds like seems like something's going on. Hey, Sonia, what's up? Hiya, looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the series Pokemon that are said to be in the Slumbering Wield. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already. Is that like King Arthur or something? What's this, then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. I could run through the legend great quick if you fancy. Uh, the short version if you please. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by a gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and a shield. Roll credits! The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. Huh. I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee, then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full of plenty of research, though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Will you be alright, Sonia? Of course I will. I'll muddle through it somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you, too, Sonia. If we hear anything about the hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Yes, let's try to check in and see what all the hubbub's about. Real quickly, because I know battle's probably going to be coming in. Alright, I guess we're going to stick with Ray. We came all the way out here to this big city so that we can cheer on gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. And here we have our evil team. Team Yell. Which is honestly very disappointing. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, you're in for a battle. Team Yale is about helping, helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us. Make some noise. So this is, like I said, this is the evil team of this game. And it's kind of a disappointing evil team. Or at least that's how it was hyped up. It was hyped up as this was the evil team. Like, Pokemon, like Team Skull and Team Rocket of previous games. Ooh, Disarming Voice actually is super effective. Hell yeah. Let's do that. I never mentioned how cute Zigzagoon actually is with this little Rockstar attire. Nice. That's a good chunk of damage. We're gonna really enjoy having Ray on our team. This should definitely get her a level. Nice. Level up. Any move? Nope. Nope, but that was easy. Oh, whoops. Probably should have turned that on silent. That was my phone ring. Boy, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Do I have to fight all of you? Ugh. Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than battle in lovely hotel lobby? Um, battling in an area where a Pokemon won't completely destroy everywhere? I mean, have you not seen the opening to Pokemon Black and White? Uh, nick it. Again, this should be easy with a disarming voice. Actually, I want to see if I can hypnotize this thing real quick. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Nice. I love how they actually close their eyes when they're asleep. It's kind of, it's a nice little touch. Good, it didn't, like, st stop sleeping in one turn. I don't know if sleep lasts a specific amount of turns or it's random. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, it's random. This should KO. Get scaringly close, though, but this should be peaceful. Nice. 
and useless crits. Okay. We got Ralts at a really good time, actually. You must have got a bit carried away being in the swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, that swanky sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Jordan. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't you think you can get ahead of me that easily? I need to get on some training and so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. At least he does that. I appreciate that a lot. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have a nice two-on-two. -two. At least we don't have to fight these guys all on our own. And without a break, I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. I'm sure we will, buddy. I'm sure we will. Oh god, frame drops. Frame dropping. As strong as the switch is, it does drop frames several times, which is kind of obnoxious. Now, the nice thing about Disarming Voice, it actually hits both opponents in a double battle. Now, granted, moves like that will actually do a little less damage than if they were focused on a single person, but it's still really nice to just get Pokemon out of the way. A lot of moves... Snarl's another one that hits all opposing Pokemon. Okay, miss. I guess it missed Ray. I mean, that's good. Snarl's another one that will hit all opposing Pokemon. These types of moves are used a lot in um, competitive battling because you're doing a lot of two-on-twos. So being able to finish off Pokemon really quickly is really nice. Please don't paralyze, please don't paralyze, please don't paralyze. God damn it. Oh yeah, I forgot about Synchronize. Okay, that's fine, but please... Yay. Alright. So unfortunately, Disarming Voice is still the only move we can use. I need to get more status recovery items. I don't have a lot of those. I do have a Paralyzed Heal, but this battle should be over relatively quick. Yeah, see? Nothing to worry about. We can just heal up back at the Pokemon Center. Alright. You defeat Team Yellow Grunts. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge open in ceremony, but this is awful. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? Nothing, we was just... I know y'all are terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call, me, call themselves Team Yell and follow me around, cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that that they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. What's with... What's with friggin' European slang and using clothes as I don't know adjectives your pants with directions they get a bit shirty so you're a gym challenger too huh team yell was it pretty impressive that you always have a set of fans to call your own I like Marnie I like her character I like how she's designed I just like her in general Alright, I guess we should finally check in. Good evening, welcome to the Budru Drop-In. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge? Yeah, why else would I be here? Yes, young Master Jordan. I see that the League has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out with the sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. I guess so much for going to a Pokemon Center. What did Lee what did Leon say about you perfecting your throw though? Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. You've been mm. Oh, I swear. Watch out, Jordan, I'll beat you to the most stoke station stadium. Well, he's probably gonna beat us anyways, because that's gonna be it for this part. We've done quite a bit. We caught another new party member, 
got signed up for the gym challenge, explored around Mostoke, and also had our first encounter with Team Yell. So, if you liked what I did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and support me on Patreon, and follow me on all my social media. That's going to be it for this part. I'll see you all next time where we continue on to the Mostoke Stadium to see the gym opening ceremony. See you all then.